All right, YouTubers, D Doc here with a little update on what I've been doing for the past couple of days over the weekend, probably the past week. Been working on the 95 Tahoe. As you remember, the rear end went out, so I've had quite the chore ahead of me. Let's take a look at what I found. I had to take the whole rear end out. Got down into it, first thing I noticed, the pinion shaft was very worn down. These gears right here are razor sharp. Some broken pieces on the tooth, teeth, ring gear on the pumpkin. Don't know if you can see this right well, but there's a broken chunk right off there. And then my parts guy tells me there's just too much play here in the spider gears. When we got the piece and everything together for price, we decided that I could buy a whole nother replacement rear end for, well, it turns out to be a couple hundred dollars left. But you can, or a hundred dollars less. You see, I had to take the axles out, everything. Brake shoes, worn kind of thin. There's my U-bolts, had to cut off. So we just ended up buying me a replacement rear end. Let's crawl underneath here. So here it sits. New U-bolts. Replacement rear end from a 99 Tahoe. With some fairly low mileage. It's been checked out by the company it came from. By the parts guy. By me. Looks like everything's going to work all right. I've already got the sway bar hooked up back on. Some new shock absorbers. Of course, the new U-bolts. And I just discovered before shooting the video, I'm going to have to take that shock back off. And <laughs> relocate this emergency brake line that's supposed to mount with that bracket supposed to mount down here underneath on the front mount of the sway bar but that's not a big deal I was more than happy to get that mounted the whole rear end last night it took me some time but I finally got the left rear brake shoes and brake parts put on and got the hub on. Today's excitement is going to be come over to this other side put all these parts, brake parts and the new shoes on the right rear side. Hope it doesn't take as much time as it did yesterday. And the only thing I'll have to do left is to bleed the brakes and then put the new U-joint on the drive shaft. Not on that end. On this end. And reinstall the drive shaft. Of course, I'm also going to change out the fluid in the rear differential and the front differential. Got some new fluid for that. Got a nice little siphon pump here. I can do change out the fluid with that with. So that won't be a problem. We'll just set that right on the Harley for now. As I said before, limited space to work in in this garage. But I've been managing to get it done. So well, that being said, that's what I've been doing for the last few, well, about the last week. And uh, about time to get back into it. Stay tuned.